we will be performing shoulder flexion passive range liftoffs using a ball and a stick mobility stick here. So if you want to pick up one of these sticks, you can refer to our resources section where we have those there for you. If you want to use a dowel, if you want to use a broomstick, those work just fine. So what we're going to do to set our position up, will be very similar to our passive range holds. We're going to take that ball right in front of us. I'm going to hug the ball with my full body. So my legs are pressing into the ball. I'm over the top with my left arm coming over the top, squeezing in. So I'm squeezing the ball in with my legs, squeezing the ball in with my arms, and I will take my arm up into a shoulder flexion range of motion here. So what I'm going to do is train from I think the bicep to ear position. So that's straight up into shoulder flexion, but we can also train in more abducted positions in the full zone of shoulder flexion. So for the sake of this video here, we're going to be going straight up and down. I'm going to make sure that I'm not arching through my back. So I'm tucked under, I got a good tight core position, make sure my shoulder blade is not hiking up into my ear. So I'm going to make sure I pack that in position there and my elbow stays locked out. So I'm gonna find my passive end range of shoulder flexion to know where my starting point is. But from there, I'm not gonna be able to lift off from this position because it's my passive end range. So I'm gonna to need to come down about 10 degrees, I think a couple inches or, or just depending on what you need, but depending on your shoulder flexion abilities, you may be here, you may be here, just, just out of your passive end range so that we can contract actively into that range of motion. From there, I will take a breath in solidify that range of motion, make sure elbow stays locked out, make sure that you're hugging that ball nice and tight, and then I'm just gonna contract, lift, set back down. So the amount of time that you hold each rep will, will be dependent on the program that you're following, your needs, your goals, and abilities. Make sure body stays tight, squeeze that dowel, lift, set right back down. So the amount of time that you will hold along the amount of reps that you will do will be dependent on your program you're following, your needs, your goals, and abilities. You just do the amount of reps on that arm, switch sides, repeat the same process on the left arm. Those are shoulder flexion, passive range liftoffs using a stick and a ball.